At Loose Intel, we've done significant research into lubricants and plastic processing. Today I'll share with you how we characterize this market as well as some of the dynamics at work and where we see opportunities. This thought leadership video is based on Loose Intel's market research report on lubricants and plastic processing. We've done significant secondary research and conducted primary interviews throughout the value chain to develop our insights. Before I share some of this analysis, let me briefly introduce myself as well as Loose Intel. My name is Brandon Fitzgerald and I'm a director at Loose Intel. I've worked with over 100 companies in the areas of growth strategy and mergers and acquisitions. Loose Intel is a management consulting and market research firm headquartered in Dallas, Texas. We have over 1,000 clients worldwide and we offer services in the areas of market entry strategy, opportunity screening, due diligence, value chain analysis, and M&A. Now, let me share some of our perspectives on the opportunities in play in the lubricants and plastic processing market. To summarize, we see the market as being interesting. For example, the global market is projected to reach a value of roughly $5.6 billion by 2025. This represents a compound annual growth rate of 3.4%. Currently, metallic stearates is the largest segment by lubricant type, whereas PVC is the largest segment by plastic type. In terms of the regions, the Asia Pacific offers the largest demand for lubricants for plastic processing, followed by North America and then by Europe. If you look into the value chain, you see that the ecosystem for this market is composed of a diverse group of companies. Now, let me share some of our perspective on the key drivers challenges based in this market. Some of the major drivers include growth in end-use industries and the processing benefits. Some of the major challenges include the increasing environmental concerns. As you've seen, Loose Intel has examined the drivers, challenges, and opportunities throughout the value chain. In order to compete more effectively, our analysis indicates that companies could invest in capabilities for biolubricants. These insights are based on Lucentel's market research report on the lubricants for plastic processing market. This report is designed to help you identify opportunities across different application segments and regions for your company. At Lucentel, we have an extensive toolkit to address strategic questions such as, what kind of game changer actions exist in the market? Or is a more incremental approach to growth better? Or where should I focus sales and marketing resources based on a voice of customer analysis? To learn the answers to these and other questions, about the lubricants and the plastic processing market, please contact Lucentel. Thank you very much for listening to our video today.